What is up bros and broats, it's Inkslasher44 and today we're going to be talking about the AE4. Now the AE4 is the newest weapon in Call of Duty Advanced Warfare and unfortunately I'm going to come out right out and say it, it's not the greatest weapon in the world. However it is usable and the point of this video is to make it so you can do the best possible you can with this gun and that grammar was horrible if i could get a like for that horrible grammar that would be super greatly appreciated uh but let's get right into talking about this weapon so what are some things you need to go know about this gun first of all there is one problem with this gun it does not shoot through walls pretty much every laser gun in this game just does not shoot through walls uh, i don't know whether they did that on purpose or they just messed up something in the coding but it's important to know that this gun does not shoot through walls so you will be getting no wall bangs with this gun another important thing to note about this gun if you look at the sights i'm using this is the red dot sight i'm using the red dot sight because i don't like the iron sights on this gun a lot of people do like them and i understand why they are a lot like the red dot sight however there is no red dot on it uh the problem i have with it is that when you fire this gun the bullet you shoot actually looks like the dot of the red dot sight and throws off my aim and the fire rate is incredibly low on this gun, which means you need to be super, super accurate with it. So, speaking of the fire rate, we need to get right into these stats. So, what are some things you should know about these stats? So, at an up-close range, you are going to be getting a 3-bullet kill, and once that range extends a little more, you're going to be getting a 4-bullet kill. You will never have more than a 4-bullet kill, and that is the best part about the AE-4. It is the by far the highest damage assault rifle in the game. So, 3-4 to four bullet kill, that's really important to note however where this gun lacks is in the fire rate the fire rate of this weapon is 500 rpm and it doesn't sound so bad until you compare it to a gun like the bow or a more comparable gun the ak-12 if you're looking at the bow the bow's fire rate is 857 rpm and the ak-12's fire rate which is very very comparable to the uh, ae-4 just because it's a low recoil gun with high damage is 750 rpm so the problem with the ae4 is that the fire rate on it is so freaking low especially because a lot of the maps in this game you're going to be getting into close range gunfights close range gunfight fights really do need that high fire rate and so many guns in this game have that high fire rate but the ae4 does not so what is the best variant you can use for this gun? So, there is a couple answers for this, but I'm going to give you my answer. So, what should you know and what should you look for when using any variant for this gun? First of all, fire rate is a biggie. Second of all, the thing I'm going for is two things. First of all, aim down sights faster is huge, and we'll talk about that why once we talk about uh, attachments and also extended range so the one i'm going to suggest using is the gigawatt the reason why with the gigawatt it's an elite version of this gun you extend your three bullet kill range uh, about 200 inches or about um 15 feet or so which is a lot 15 feet of extended three bullet kill range is huge and on top of that the aim down sights time is 20 percent less which is huge um now let's talk about perks what perks should or sorry what attachments should you be using with this gun so i in this gameplay i'm using foregrip red dot sight and quick draw if you use the gigawatt you can get rid of the quick draw just use foregrip and red dot but i highly recommend using the quick draw with this gun because it's that important to get all your bullets on target as much as possible uh because of that low fire rate and because that the bullets do so much damage that you need to have every single bullet count uh so as far as perks goes i highly recommend using lightweight low profile because you really need to get the jump on people uh on top of that you're probably going to want to use blast suppressor and toughness as you can see i'm only using two kill streaks in this because there is really no point of using any more than two kill streaks uh this gun isn't the greatest it's going to be really hard to rack up those high kill streaks but these are my thoughts on the ae4 uh these are the stats these are the cold hard facts i hope you guys enjoyed if you did go ahead and leave a like rating be super greatly appreciated and until next time guys peace out